Welcome to Campus Insiders. We have a developing story involving the Oklahoma State University football program. Freshman running back Devin Thomas was arrested Wednesday and charged with a pair of felonies. Police are charging Thomas with armed robbery and shooting with the intent to kill, and he is currently being held on $125,000 bond. For more on this, we bring in Jay Fielder, recruiting editor for Oklahoma State Illustrated, Arrivals.com website. Jay, you're familiar with this young man. Before he arrived in Stillwater, he had baggage. Are you surprised by this arrest? I think it's all, you know, you're always a little bit surprised when something like this happens. Um, to say I'm shocked, you know, wouldn't be very truthful. Like you, like you mentioned, he'd, he'd had some issues in high school, um, so it's not his first run-in. But, you know, anytime you encounter something this, you know, of this degree, um, it sort of takes you back a little bit. But, you know, to say that his name, when his name first popped up, when I heard about it, I wasn't overly surprised, no. Now, the Cowboys aren't necessarily hurting depth-wise at running back. Does Thomas's arrest have an immediate impact at that position? I would, not immediately. Um, they're returning their starting running back, Desmond Rowland, um, as well as backup running back, Ronnie Childs, who was a true freshman last year. Um, and, they, and they also signed uh, top junior college running back sort of athlete Tyree Kill. And so those are the three guys that will primarily carry the ball this upcoming season. So there wouldn't be an immediate impact. I would think any impact probably would be felt maybe a year down the road um, after you have some guys graduate um, and the depth maybe isn't quite what you thought it would be had Devin still be on the roster. Now, Jay, has the school released an official statement regarding Thomas's arrest? Not that I have seen at this point. I don't know what the time frame on that would be. I do know that his arraignment is scheduled for June 6th, um, which is a week from now. I don't know that you'll hear much other than maybe just the school um, confirm that they're aware of what's going on. But I imagine that they'll wait to see what the formal charges are before making any sort of decisions um, from both a football standpoint and from a legal standpoint. Yeah, tough situation. Thank you very much, Jay. No problem. For more on this and other college football news, make sure you keep it locked right here, campusinsiders.com.